welcome to Shein X Yahoo. Today we will be touring you around. Finally, we have time for this. Yep. And I'm sure all of you are looking forward for this. We as well can't wait to tour you guys around. Let's go. Let's go. So the first stop, I'm going to show you our power room. <laughs> So this is our guest toilet, I would say the power room, okay? So... This is full black, okay? And of course we have this light uh, incorporated with our smart home So our guests don't even need to press on the light button The moment they open the door, the light will immediately turn on I think this whole design of the entrance of the powder room definitely did uh, fulfill what Sheng Yi actually wants, which mm. means uh, what, which what he actually mm. wants that he doesn't want people, you know, first entrance, uh, first impression is the powder room itself. Mm. So this one actually hide out the powder room. As in, from outside, you wouldn't even know that there's a washroom or a powder room inside here. Mm. It feels like you know it's just a design and probably there's a showroom inside. I mean, you, you would know. Yeah. So yeah. even for the wall itself, we, we actually purposely made a, a space for lightings and we want something that is more minimalist. Now we are going to the living room area. Um, this place is, I really want to say uh, thank you to Zia for finding all the sauce, mostly, mostly, Besides then the course and the berries <laughs> and my books and the nuggets are all uh, by Zia. Okay, so some of you actually asked me to share my Taobao haul as well, like what they actually get from Taobao for my new house. Okay, so in our living room, there's a few things. First of all, it's actually not this nugget, I'm sorry. It's actually this sofa, okay, I actually got them from Taobao and which I think that it fits what we really want as well and to my surprise that when it arrived, it actually fitted our main sofa really well and I think it's, it looks good like that, okay. Even this small table here, over here, this is something that I got from Taobao as well is that when I was looking for a sofa so I was thinking that you know let's say if I want to have books beside my sofa you know this would be a good choice and ta-da! This carpet that I'm actually working on okay because I think our living room area the space is uh, quite huge so in a way that we need a uh, carpet that is really huge that actually fit the size of this living room and everything on top of it okay so i actually search for the size the color the tone that we want and even the material that we want i think you can basically get everything from taobao and i guess this is actually a good buy because it really fitted the whole feeling of the house And this um, giant Didic candle is actually a gift from my BFF, Adele and husband Lex. So this candle, I really love it and wanted to get it for quite some time but they were out of stock. So the moment when they have stock, when just right before I got it, Adele actually got this for me. Oh my god, this is amazing. I love it so much until today I didn't even like it yet. Curtain is like the soul of the whole place where we choose back the color that match perfectly nice. Not the same with the flooring, but it is darker gray. Uh, shout out to MK Curtain. So there's a marble table here and we want to match with something that's more raw mm. and hence the wall. You can actually see mm. that the design actually it is uh, it's not a uh, it's not a templated one, mm. which means they actually have artists that came over to actually make this design of the wall mm. that looks really natural as if it's just cement and things like that. But the moment when you touch it, it's actually mm. raw. 
Okay, so this is another of my favorite spot because I do most of my things here. Okay, so I have a slow juicer here where I do most of my juicing. I have a toaster for my favorite bread. And of course, I think the favorite thing about this spot is that the likes. Wisdom 101, when the wife needs to decide something, just let her do everything she likes. And that is how you make your wife a happy wife. And that is how you make yourself a happy man. You love it too, right? Hello? Okay, so uh, we bought this house with the island built in and all this white cabinet built in as well. Even the microwave and the oven. Okay, and I think for me, I really like things that is built in because it will actually look less messy and it saves a lot of space. Okay, so this is the microwave oven. My bedware will be below, and here is where I store some of my noodles the unhealthy one on top and the healthier one below. Okay, and here's my supplements. And this is our fancy cups, mm -hmm. Mickey and Pop. Okay, and since we are doing coffee here, so I have all my glasses, water glasses, and coffee glasses here as well. Uh, we have the dry kitchen at the back. Okay, so there's a sink. Okay, and there's a hot plate. And this is our coffee machine where we do most of our morning coffee here. Another thing that I really like about this island is also it came with a good storage. Okay, you can actually see this is actually the first drawer which I keep most of my cutlery on the first drawer so for my guests if let's say they need any cutlery it will be easier for them as well and second one is my oops my plates okay so all these plates are actually Le Creuset and I really got to thank my friend Shing for actually making this happen for me okay and I also have some other plates that is here so this few drawers are basically plates, cutlery and if I were to open this so yeah, I'll have more plates and more container storage snacks, healthy snacks and junk foods okay. and this is all the other other things This fridge came with it. Came with the unit as well. So I try to organize my fridge. Okay. So this is how it actually looks like now. One thing that I think I enjoy organizing my fridge is that I can actually avoid overbuying. Which is last time uh, before I actually learned to organize my fridge. I have a lot of food that's expired, or I bought it without even remembering it. But with me organizing it, I actually know. How much do I actually need and I rarely buy and unnecessary anymore? Yep, and it looks good. So I just passed pass you to the tour guide of the kitchen because I'm not in charge of this area. This <laughs> is for her to do that. Okay, so this is the wet kitchen part. We have the sink. Okay, a uh, few things that I would like to feature in my kitchen. One of it is actually this small bin that I got from Brabantia. I really love it because it, it makes life so much easier that whatever that I cut or, or food waste, I can just throw everything in here. And yep, I also like this container that I use to keep my garlics. Oh my god, I love kitchen stuff. Okay. So I have cutting board that I got from Joseph and Joseph as well because I think it saves a lot of space and it's more hygiene when you can actually assign different cutting boards for different food. Okay. So this is the stove area. I like how this unit we are actually using gas for our stove. 
and here are all my parts and here are all my seasonings okay so I get to uh, organize all my seasoning and my oil and here is where I keep all my scissors knife I like this knife uh, organizer that I got from Joseph & Joseph as well which I think is really safe for me to actually keep my knife and put it into place nicely and save a lot of space so here are the other cooking utensils and some other seasonings Thermomix, I got it from Jennifer and this is a pressure uh, double boil cooker that was strongly recommended by my friends if you want to cook a few types of soup in one go this is what you can actually opt for and this is an air fryer okay it's for a healthier version of lunch and meat For me to have a wine chiller, wine area in my own house is like a dream come true mm. because I really love wine and for me to can for me to be able to host my friends, letting them to choose the glasses that they actually want, choose the wine that they actually want. I think it's something that I really wanted to do it for a very, very long time and I'm happy that we actually made it happen. I really think that in life you got to keep finding things, finding things to make yourself happy. Let it be a glass of good wine or cook good coffee or even a slice of good sourdough. I think all these little things will actually uh, make your life better day by day. It's the little things in life that actually matter. And for me, I always wanted all this to be doable at home. And yep, I am happy with how all this actually fall into place. So first room is actually our guest room. So we don't really have guests all the time, so we wanted a room that's more versatile. So we actually have a sofa bed that can actually turn into a king size bed when we have guests. And when we have no guests, this would actually be my shooting room, my workout room, or anything that I want to do on my own personal time. Okay, so I actually decorated it in a way that is cuter. Okay, so you can actually see these lights is like a clock okay and I have a mirror here so this mirror is actually like an illusion of a door so I really like this piece so I actually just sort whatever that I think is cute is nice and just basically display it into this room okay so this room is basically sweeter cuter the color choices are more pink white or even my wall this wall is also from wasari okay you can actually see that it's a very very mild uh i would say an off-white color that actually fitted the whole room really well so this is the walkway that we think that is really cool and is very in style worthy <laughs> with Basari wall of course it's grey very cool and the lightings make this like a walk of fame yeah. uh, we actually want like to you know let's say if we have photos in the, in the future you can see the lights is shooting down mm. so ideally we will have all our photos printed and hang on the spotlights so it would really buy, you know, it, it would really look like a walk of fame. <laughs> and I want to mention of this, this is like a indoor lighting, mm -hmm. indoor sunlight, because we are living in a condo where normally we cannot get, I remember, I used to remember like the old houses, they have a big uh, sunlight uh, part, the outdoor part that will shine into the house. This is like the, this is kind of like the mm -hmm. concept of it. Um, our designer man, uh, uh, suggests us to have this, mm -hmm. and I really think that this is one of the greatest uh, idea. Mm -hmm. And I love how this thing makes this place 
a little bit special. It's very artsy. Mm -hmm. It is made of a uh, membrane, membrane. Mm -hmm. and with the lighting shout out to just that as well because of <laughs> making this happen. It is really cool. Our master bedroom where we are going to tour you around our master bedroom. We will first go to the bed. Um, this was not a wall earlier. We, I think it is brilliant to build this wall, to put our bed here and to put this wall here. And it's actually make this place look like a hotel room because we can enjoy our TV here. And, and sunlight. Which Zia love it the most. Yep. She always needs sunlight. So we actually have a separator from the bed area and the outside area because we do not want that you know the moment we enter we see the bed right away so we actually built up this separator and of course that you can actually see it there's a, a small display area here for us to actually showcase all our photos this is not final yet mm. yeah yeah work in progress So you can see that I actually place most of my makeup products, my everyday jewelry, watches, my Gigi, my Gigi, and my brushes. Everything. This is a place there where I dry my hair, I style my hair, I do my makeup, and bit a table like. Ooh. Okay. So this is actually another huge mirror in our room. So we. I remember you mentioned thousand times. I need a huge mirror. I need a huge mirror, and this is why we have a huge mirror in our room. Yeah, we have mirror, mirrors, and of course we have our secret access. Ta -da. She is always very proud of this thing. Yep. So this is one of my small area, like a mini walk-in wardrobe that uh, this is Shiny clothes, my clothes and our bags area. I actually got this Alcolab box from uh, Taobao. I custom made it according to the sizes and all to actually put our bags. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is our master bathroom. We finally have a place to work, not on the marble table. And since this is our office, I think storage is very important. So we actually have finally have a proper place to store all our documents. So I have a printer. This wrap, I actually got it from Lazada for me to actually put a speaker on top and I have all my important documents that I need to send to my clients here another rack for me to put other documents and of course we have like functional cupboards okay, for us to store all our documents all other whatever miscellaneous things inside I think one very important thing about storage is it look it makes the whole place look really, really neat and clean. Okay, so we store everything inside our covers, our storage, and things like that. So in one glance, the whole room is just clean and neat, and yet everything is really accessible. You just need to open the cupboard, and everything you need is just there. Welcome to my sneaker room. This is the first time I showing my sneaker room on video and if you can see as I mentioned this is really like a storage room all the Jordan 1 shoes, sneaker box, Jordan 1 and everything is here so this is I'm really proud of my collection and I really think that all hard works uh, paid off work very hard for my dreams and i really want to encourage all of you if you have a hobby just uh, work harder and go for it okay so i think our renovation works is mostly done now i would say 99 percent done 
and I'm glad that we made it through. Mm. Okay, with some minimal argument here and there. It's not really argument, but maybe more communication because I believe that we need to speak out the things that we want. Like me, I tell you the things that I want, yeah. and you tell me the things that you want and you don't want. Mm -hmm. And this will really help to ease the process. So guys, we yep. have to be uh, be very straightforward to our partner because we are doing things together. Yep, I think that's one very important point. And second thing is to really sort out your budget because mm. to reno a house is all about cash to be very honest. Yep. And when we first saw the first quotation, we were shocked. Because the quotation, when we the first quotation that we got, it was about six hundred to seven hundred thousand, mm. which we can. I was telling Shengyi, oh my god, we can buy another house with mm. that code. Mm. So I think it's very important to work things around your budget. Mm. Okay, set a budget that is doable yes. for both you and your partner, yes. and see what is the limit that you can stretch within yep. your budget. Yep. The team behind this, uh, I just want to say thank you to all of them. I'll just list them down mm -hmm. on. Uh, below on the description box. So mm -hmm. thank you to all of them for making this happen mm -hmm. and we really really enjoy and love our place. Uh, managed to make it at the age of uh, 30, 30, 32 this I'm year. I'm turning right? 30, this 30, year. 30 this year. So, so this age, this design I think is a perfect match. So mm. Mm. Love it. Most importantly, enjoy the process. Enjoy the Renault process. Make it a memorable one. Make it one that you will want to still remember even when you are building your next house. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye. Hey Google. Movie time.